Thank you, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for coming to my talk about Cucumber. So my name is Michael. I'm a Scala developer and Java developer. So I'm working for Lunatech, a French consulting company. And today I will talk about a subject that everyone likes, testing. And more specifically about Cucumber framework. So what is Cucumber? Um, it's a testing framework that allows us to write scenarios, and then we can use Concomber Open, an open source library for executing those scenarios. There is also a commercial offer, Concomber Studio, which is a cloud repository that allows us to store and share with the customer Concomber scenarios and execution reports. Concomber is based on BDD, Behavior Driven Development. And to give a very quick summary, you first, in, in BDD, you first write the test before the feature. Then the, you check that the test is failing because the failure is not, the feature is not there. Then the, you implement the feature and then you check that the test succeeds. To write scenarios, Cucumber is using the Gherkin syntax. So it looks, looks like natural language. Uh, in a scenario, each line is a step, and there are a few keywords describing what a step is doing. So, For example, given is a setup step, when is an action step, and then is a check step. Of course, when we are talking about BDD, automatic test framework, natural language, user expectations are going through the roof. And I've seen three of them uh, often. The first one is test will be written by a non-technical user, like quality assurance or product owner. Because since it's natural language, there is no code involved, so you don't need any developer. They will also be faster to write, because anyone knows that code is slow to write. And they will also be self-sufficient to document the application, because there are regular sentences they describe what happens, so you don't need to have a documentation for that. So you, don't, you, you need less developer, less time, you don't need to write code, you don't need to write documentation, it looks good. Well, but what is it in reality? So we use that on a project. So I will give a little bit of background. We worked for a financial institution. One part of the product was listening to market price on the trading platform, doing some computation and publishing a curve. It was done in real time all day long. The project was not a small one, but not a very big one, but not a small one. We were working on it, on the first part of it, for one year with a team of 12 developers. And it was done with regular Java, no fancy framework, just basic stuff. Within the product, we were handling curves like that. So, uh, well, regular curve, we got time and price as axes. And we start with um, the green curve. And what happened when we update the last point? We see that the resulting curve, the orange one, uh, all the points are also updated, not just the last one. And the general shape is conserved. So to do that, we got a lot of rules to apply. And the customer provided us with very detailed specification. Uh, by details, I mean like 50 pages of specification with describing 30 business rules with a lot of numerical example. And all the cases explained. As an output, they required us to provide concomber scenarios. However, they didn't want the execution report just the scenario by themselves. So how did we approach the task? Well, we could have been lazy. Write the feature, write our unit test, write some additional Cucumber scenario, and be done with that. Uh, just an additional step. But uh, we are developer. We got a shiny new toy to test, to play with. So why not try the automation part? Oh, by the way, uh, to be frank, it was not just for playing, because 
we didn't want to have to manage both unit tests and Cucumber scenario and under the synchronization between them. Better have just one of them. So we started with the first ticket. We tried with the first scenario. So one rule, we implement it, we write the Cucumber scenario, we try to make it run. We managed to make it run. Actually, it was not that hard. A few days of work, um, including discovering the framework, setting up the environment, and, and so on. So, no red flags. Everything looks good. So, we try with another ticket. Second business rule, second set of scenarios. We make it work. Overall, it was good enough, easy, fast. So we decided that for the curve engine, handling all the curve computation, we would be using Cucumber testing for all the, instead of unit tests. So let's look at a scenario definition. So scenarios are grouped into feature, and this is a feature file. So we see that we got a scenario name and a few steps. And when we read the scenario, what does it do is we start with an initial curve with some values and a few configuration setup, so a threshold, an anchor, a few values. Then we trigger an event in the system with the when keyword, notifying that a price update happens on the market. And then we check that the engine computed a new curve, published it without any error and with the expected values. At the bottom of the scenario, we see a bunch of values. The Cucumber takes each line, inject it into the scenario, thanks to the plus order, to the variable name, and play the scenario, and do that for each line of values. So we wrote our scenario, we launch it, but Cucumber is not happy. Uh, it complains about missing steps. But why? Well, there is no magic behind Cucumber. Um, when it tries to execute a scenario, it goes step by step, and for each step, it tries to find a piece of code to run. And how we define that piece of code? Well, it's just a method in our code base, and to be able to find it, we annotate the method with um, a regular expression that should match the step. So Cucumber try to execute a step, look for the matching annotation, run the corresponding method if found. If not, it will complain. But it's quite friendly because it provides us with template to copy paste into our code base. So let's do that. We create a step definition file, which is just a Java class. We copy path the methods with the corresponding annotation, and we just have to fill in the body. So, for example, the first one, we are creating a curve. So, we are instantiating a new market engine with the default value, initial value, as uh, defined in the scenario. The second one is updating some parameter, and the third one is triggering a computation thanks to a market event. So we can go on for all the steps. It's the same. And now we can run it. And Cucumber is happy. We see that as an output, we have run two scenarios there. We see the steps with the value used and the corresponding steps definition on the right. If you don't like text output, you can also ask Cucumber to generate JSON or HTML. So, after one year working with Concomber, what did we think about? Let's go back to the user expectation we talked about at the beginning. The first one was tests will be written by a non-technical user, like quality assurance or product owner. Well, yes. You don't need to be a developer to copy past a piece of scenario into another one. The same way, you can just add a new line of values defining a new case and you can do that easily. However, whenever you introduce a new step, remember you need the corresponding step definition, which is a piece of code. 
you need someone coding at one point of time. So you need a neighbor for a new state definition. However, even though you need a developer to write tests, there is still a bonus because Cucumber scenario are quite easy to read. So you can let your product owner or your customer read them and validate them, which is, by the way, what our customer wanted to do. The second expectation was that tests will be faster to write. Well, it's almost the same. To copy paste a piece of scenario into a new one or add a new set of values, yes, it's quite fast. Well, depending on the value, you need to do some research, but just plain text edit. However, the same way, when you add new state definition, you need to spend some time coding. Sometimes it's immediate, sometimes it's bugged, so you need to work on it. Test are, the third expectation is that tests are self-sufficient for documenting the application's behavior. Yes, when you actually run a scenario, you are executing the application's code. So if the text, test succeeds, well, the application behaves as described in the scenario. So the scenario is a documentation for the application. However, there is nothing mandatory for enforcing people to run scenario. You can just write them put them in the corner, and that don't match with the application. So, from a developer perspective, how did we enjoy the journey? Well, we find that there is a good ecosystem around Cucumber. Because the scenarios are plain text, they are friendly with Git. You can merge, rebase, resolve conflict, no issues. No big binary blob. So, IntelliJ is also providing uh, nice plugins for working with Cucumber. So you get a plugin for Java, Scala, and Kotlin, and with that you get syntax correlation, code completion, the ability to jump between step and step definition back and forth, and the ability to run directly within IntelliJ and debug within IntelliJ the scenario. So overall, a good experience. Um, Jenkins is able to display the output of Concomber build directly, and many languages are supported. I also I already talked about Java, Scala, and Kotlin, but there are a few dozen languages supported, like C++, Lua, or Python. However, uh, my experience with Concomber Studio, the Cloud repository, was quite basic. You just have to upload things one by one by end. There is no, there was no synchronization mechanism. So, some work to do. Is it the perfect tool for all your tests? Well, no. Like any tools, you have to use it for the proper job. And we have had situation where it was not adequate to use Cucumber. Uh, I can uh, talk about two use cases. The first one is low level very technical unit test. Because it's not worth spending time writing a step definition if you don't reuse that. So for a technical class, you are writing with very few scenarios. You don't reuse your step definition. You waste time. And the same way for our integration test. Because they, are, they were taking very long to run, we were not able to have a wide range of scenario with a wide range of values. So basically, it was one scenario with one set of value, another one with another set of value, a third one, and we are done with integration test. So the same way, it was not worth spending time writing step definition. However, for the curve engine, it was very adequate because it was a black box with a finite set of input and a finite set of output that could be mapped to step and step definition and be composed into scenario to represent the business logic. So, conclusion. Well, as you can see, we were quite happy with uh, Concomber. We were not expecting much, but actually delivered. We were able to write tests to share them with a the customer. Most of the expectations were a little bit overhyped, but in the end, it works. 
It's not the magical silver bullet that everyone expects, but uh, it's good for us, at least. I'm short for questions, but uh, if you have, I will be on the side. So thank you. Thank you.